Welcome to our wellness boot camp in honor of our forced staycation during the coronavirus outbreak pandemic. Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Minky. This is Minky Wellness, and I'm going to give you an overview of our next two weeks. We're going to do a daily video for two weeks for our uh, what we call a wellness boot camp, and we're we're forced in home. You know, forced is maybe a stronger word, but but here we are at home. We're not working for us. We're not working. You know, many people are still working from home, which adds even more elements that that are challenging. So, anytime we have a big change. It's challenging, it's stressful, there's fear involved, especially with something like this pandemic. And so it's important, it's important to be well all the time, but it's even more important that we understand a little bit about wellness and how to be well. And there are skills associated with being well, and that's why I call this a boot camp. Because during this boot camp, we're gonna we're gonna come to understand a little bit more about wellness, we're gonna come to have actual practical things that we can implement and we're we're going to put some you know habits opportunity there's an opportunity here to put some habits in place and to break some habits that uh, that haven't you know that that habits that, are, that will help us in our wellness and habits that have not been serving us in our wellness so we're going to talk about uh, if you don't know any of my material it might be useful to go back to my week one of the wild wellness program we'll put a link here on this video for that and um and what that does is go over the the overview of kind of my philosophy and i've got the wellness strategy stop poisoning ourselves flood the body with nutrients and manage our stress and then we've got the four nutrient categories or basic categories of food water air and love uh, and and those are essentials for life. And so the, that kind of those themes food water air and love and This idea of not poisoning ourselves flood the body with nutrients and manage our stress really runs throughout all of my wellness material my history with cancer uh, and, and cancer background kind of has prepared me for a situation like this from a standpoint of many people are afraid right now of the virus, not so much maybe the virus itself, but what if I can't get medical attention? What if it's the system is so overwhelmed that I, I can there's no medical options for me. There's nothing I there's no one but me. I'm stuck with me and how to manage something by myself. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. And that's what really brings the fear up associated with something like this. The coronavirus itself Probably not as you know, not 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 the deadly killer thing that that it you know. I mean, it, a lot of people are getting it, and the mortality rate. We're, it, the numbers are hard to hard to get accurate numbers, but I think in the end we're going to find out the the that the numbers mortality rate are not are not all that scary. So the issue is the how 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 fast it spreads and how many people would be hitting the medical system all at once, which is why we're all hanging out at home and keeping our social distance. Okay. Now, so what, what are we afraid of? What, what is the big deal if we, ha you know, for those who are afraid of this, and I think what it comes down to is if I get it, I'm not going to be able to go to the doctor. There's not going to be anything the medical system has to offer. They're going to be too overwhelmed, or maybe there isn't even anything they can do. So here's where like I said, for my can my cancer background, I got bone cancer, went through treatment, got chemotherapy induced lymphoma caused by the treatment. At that point, I had no, to me, no treatment options, no logical, sensible treatment options, and so I've already been there, done that. With I didn't have any options the medical system could offer that were working for me, and that happened, you know, happened more and more as I went into the health problems that I had. And so wellness became the answer, the avenue out. And, and here's my wellness philosophy, just to give you a, a context. If I can feel better tomorrow or even better in 10 minutes, do you follow what I'm saying here? 10 minutes from now, let's say I have a really bad situation symptom-wise, and I can improve those symptoms, I can feel better in 10 minutes, and then the next 10 minutes after that feel better, and the next 10 minutes after that feel better, then what do I need to go to the doctor for? Now, if I do need to go to the doctor, that's fine, and, and you know, hopefully, the, hopefully that's there for me, but you see what I'm saying is if you have a set of tools and you have a set of actions 
that you can take cons that consistently gets you results in terms of moving your body up in the direction of wellness, re you know, and, 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 I, and I do, there's a caveat in there. We can take an anti-inflammatory and suppress the body's inflammation system and we reduce symptoms. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about moving myself upward in the, in the right direction, in the wellness direction. So learning how to know that you are moving in the right direction is, is a very important skill. This is a skill, right? A skill of self-awareness, paying attention to your body. You can and must, if you're really gonna do wellness, you must learn that skill, hone that skill. I'm gonna teach you to do some of this skill building in this 14-day in this uh, staycation uh, uh, wellness boot camp. Okay, and so the, the, that's, there's skills involved and we're gonna go through some skill building. We're also gonna learn uh, uh, how to use our essential oils. I'm, I'm, our, my market here, my audience here, I'm focusing on our people who are already in Young Living, you've got your premium starter kit or you've got some experience with some of the oils or maybe you at least have your premium starter kit and, and, you're, and so we're gonna base it on some of the oils, uh, the oils associated with the premium starter kit. We're gonna go through various wellness practices and then using the oils and how the oils can amaze, the Young Living essential oils can help us with all categories, the food, water, air, and love, and with the wellness strategy, stop poisoning ourselves, flood the body with nutrients and manage our stress. All of that can be done, assisted or helped with, you know, through the Young Living essential oils. So we're gonna talk about that too. Uh, and we'll have some practices that we can do, some physical practices, how to breathe, because the respiratory system is going to be really important in the context of this coronavirus thing. Uh, we, how, what can we do for our immune system? We'll talk some, some about that as well. Um, and then, like I said, opportunity. This is an opportunity here during these two weeks, uh, you know, depending on where you are and what your context is, but opportunity in these two weeks to learn some, new, learn some of these new habits and break some of those ones that are not helping. And some of the some of the habits that you're doing um, are that are not helping might might be surprising to you. Um, the the chemical hand sanitizer, uh, you know, I mean the bleach and the Lysol, uh, these are all hurting the immune system. And that's the very thing that we're going to rely mostly on in order to to get well, stay well, or certainly have a mild case if we do get this thing. So why would we want to trash our immune system? We'll talk some about that as we go along here in this 14 days. So welcome to our wellness boot camp for our staycation during the coronavirus quarantining period. Uh, and let's get started with our day one.